It's my feel good breakfast show. Next up though, we chat to a young lady who had a dream and a passion to start her very own music department at her high school. And with her hard work and sheer determination, she not only succeeded, but she went on to achieve incredible success. We're joined by um, Monique Wendal this morning. She started the Malcolm High School Choir and Band, and they've been chosen to represent South Africa in New York. Monique, very nice to have you with us here Thank this morning. So Thank you so much. I, I, I love your story. It's an incredible story. You had this dream, you had this passion, you had this vision mm. to just start a music department where there was none. I mean, where did the idea come from? How did it all come about? What were some of the, the challenges that you faced? Okay, well, um, I had a variety of options and I just knew Malcolm Strand was the high school for me. And it's a very new school. We're only in our fourth year now, so it's my third year of teaching. And there was no music department. So right in the beginning, um, I was the second team of staff to join. And uh, I had the honor of writing the school song and we added some beatboxing with that, which makes it slightly different. And then I decided, why not create a choir, create an orchestra, and we worked along together for two years. And um, now we entered the competition and it's gone really, really well. Uh, we did regionals in January and uh, went to nationals and now we're heading to New York. But the challenges are that we, we started with nothing. We didn't have instruments and someone would um, donate a piano or a keyboard and we use what we have most of the time. Even for the choir, we don't have choir stands, but we use chairs and we make it happen. That is incredible. I mean, your, your views are incredible. I think music and, and the arts are so so important for, for, for young learners to have at their schools. I mean, what is your views on that in terms of general arts and schools? Arts and schools is very important. I think a child should have a balanced um, lifestyle, a bit of art, a bit of sport, and definitely academics, that's important. And I think Talent Africa has, um, thanks to Melanie and Sean, they've created a platform for culture. Mm. And these kids can have that chance to... Um, yeah, just show their skills. And by the by, the looks of the pictures, they're absolutely loving it as well. Yes. Um, you mentioned that, I mean, you kicked up with a bang. Um, gold and silver, respectively, in your first competition. Mm. Now you're off to New York. Yes. All right, tell me, tell us a little bit about that. Um, okay. When so, are you guys leaving? What's the deal with that? So we started out, and I decided for two years not to enter them in anything, and I thought this would be the opportunity, and we walked away with these good results, and I uh, went to nationals, and now we are thrilled to go to New York. Those that got gold go through to New York, and luckily the choir and the orchestra got gold. We also won top vocal school and best vocal group overall. Some of our learners um, reached uh, achievements on the top two and best entertainer. And New York is from the 5th of July until um, the 16th of July. And uh, yeah, we really need help with sponsorship and Right. All that. So, so. so how, can, how can people get involved? I mean, this is such a great project and a great venture as yes. well and a great opportunity for these youngsters. Yes, I think it's awesome for them. Um, they will be able to get scouted in New York, which is very exciting. So there's a bright future at such a young age for them. Um, if people want to get involved, they can contact me at my email address, um, moniqueordendahl at hotmail.com. Um, or my cell phone number 072-615-8221 and if they would like to sponsor anything we would love to put it on our uniforms which was something quite interesting we competed against other choirs double our size um, yeah. with uniforms and we just went there with what we had the clothes <laughs> we had in our cupboard it's incredible yes. well you know what Monique thank you so much for joining us we can't wait to hear the band performing a little thank bit later you. on it's going to be impressive great way to start our Wednesday morning stick around for that but uh, we are talking about education and clearly Monique is an example of how important teachers really are, but I'm sure we've all heard the statement basic education, and you might ask, what exactly is that? Well, it is the aim to meet basic learning needs and is a priority for developing countries. Now, it is one of the most emphasized human rights in South Africa, and amongst us are some unsung heroes who've dedicated their lives to implement this basic rights, and they are our terrific teachers. And uh, would you believe that some of the country's best teachers are based in the Free State? Let's go out and meet these heroes.